Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we have a older vehicle in here today, um, 92 Cadillac DeVille, and a uh, customer found us somehow online, I guess, says that the, uh, the car runs rough, and his buddy threw a TPS in it because they had read that they have issues with the throttle position sensors on these cars. It's a 4.9. These old caddies had a lot of issues uh, with drivability type concerns from what I remember working on them years ago. Uh, I don't see many nowadays. They did have issues with the idle control motors and uh, setting them up and uh, these things these things are not user friendly uh, if you're not familiar with them because there's a lot of setup involved with them. Uh, these things are not, uh, you didn't use a scan tool for these. Um, everything would be done through the uh, through the AC or climate control system here, you would uh, get codes, you would get data all through there. Uh, you would also put it into different modes to, to uh, set up things on here like the idle and timing and such. Uh, actually, the timing, I'm trying to remember, the timing you may have had to jump A to B. Uh, it's been a while, but regardless, there's a lot of stuff going on with these cars. So, one thing that I want to just, want to just start it up real fast. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up very well, but it's it's running pretty bad. It's actually got a dead miss on one cylinder. And uh, what I did off camera quickly was I verified. I'll take you out of the car and show you. Uh, I went old school here. Okay. Uh, I went to my ignition wires. I got myself a test light and quickly identified which cylinder was misfiring by pulling each wire off, okay? It's got a dead miss all the time. So I wanted to just see if I could isolate the cylinder quickly. And um, what I found was cylinder seven in the back, the last one over there in the back is the misfiring cylinder. So at that point, I pulled the wire off real fast, verified that I have good spark, I pulled the plug to take a quick look at it. I did not like what I saw on the plug. It was fouled. So uh, right there I stopped. I put, the, I put a new plug in that cylinder. And, um, you know, that way at least I have something to start with here. I, that plug was shot. I'm not going to pull it out three times. I put a new one in. And I wanted to get to the base cause, the root cause of the issue. So I threw my scope. I got my Pico set up here. And I'm going to show you the setup real fast. I have a... Uh, I have a 10 to 1 attenuator on channel 1 with a regular probe and I have my adapter here for my um, banana jacks for the uh, for the amp clamp, the 20 amp mode that I'm in and I'm going over the control wire uh, with the clamp turn it on and I'm going to just zero it real fast and uh, my other wire is probed my other uh, lead is probed for the injector control as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you guys up over here, if possible. And I'm going to try to zoom in on this if I can. I'm trying to get a good location to uh, set up the camera, so just bear with me. It should be good there if the camera doesn't fall, which it probably will. I'm going to actually move you back a little. Okay, so I'm going to set you up right here so you can see the screen. My blue trace is the control. My red trace is the amperage on the injector, number seven. And we're going to fire it up. This thing is off the chart. I have to set up a 10 amp, uh, 5 to 10 amp scale for the reason. That is broke. We are measuring oh, over 11 amps. That injector shorted. I'm going to zoom in here, show you. You can see the blue trace. Here is the control. But you can see in the amperage here, this spike straight up. 
There is no ramp. This thing is absolutely shorted and pulling over 11, uh, 11 amps. Uh, what I will show you before I uh, before I shut the scope down is I will put this on a known good injector. All right. Okay, so we're set up. Known good. See the difference in the ramp here. All right, you can see it actually does not shoot straight up; it's on an angle, and you can see absolutely that the difference in amperage is dramatic. We're at uh, under an amp, uh, 828 milliamps actually. So there's a huge difference here in the uh, in the amperage. That is a, that is a shorted injector, and I'm going to recommend that he change all of the injectors. Uh, on this uh, on this vehicle because it's just not you know if one went these things are notorious for failing so we'll see if he wants to do it and we'll go from there all right guys so I just wanted to prove something out here we got the new injector okay and here's my meter uh, 16.2 ohms here's the old injector we're going to just check this. I have not done this off camera, so hopefully the uh, resistance will prove something. 2.4 ohms. So, as you can see, the resistance check on this, uh, the resistance test on this, in this case, would show a problem. Uh, this is not always the case, however. We've been in that situation where you can check the resistance on an injector or whatever and um, not see the issue, okay? Uh, you will see it however live on a current ramp so that is the power of using a scope uh, to verify you know a problem like this you can actually see it real time uh, and I hope you guys get the drift of what I'm saying here uh, thanks for watching guys I'm gonna go throw this new injector in and um, I guess we'll maybe we'll get an after pattern even though you guys have already seen a good one but I could prove it with a brand new injector and this is a Delco unit uh, that we got here this is not a uh, it's not an aftermarket or refurbished or anything like that. It's a brand new uh, injector from Delco. So uh, don't take, I don't like taking risks with aftermarket stuff. Thanks, guys.